Hey friends, it's Kip Icon, and welcome back to Kip Plays Space Funeral. Where am I going here? We just came out of the Blood Cavern. We defeated the Blood Ghoul. There we go. And I'm feeling so nostalgic playing this game, I did not want to stop. So I didn't. Gulp, gulp. I'm hiding in this desert from Rip the Blood. Don't tell him I'm here. I wouldn't do that to you, Piggy. Welcome to Malice. We have many goods and criminals. Goods and criminals, eh? Wow. How can you resist? Good grief, good grief. The locals here... Uh, the locals have the market in town sewn up tight. I have to make do out here. Well, what have you got? A Bible? I don't think we have a Bible yet. I don't know. We're probably good as is. Got 43 rubles. All right. When going, there are rumors of a strange figure roaming the mystery forest. He calls himself the 20th century boy. What's that? Well, there's only one way to find out. How come this pig is wearing more clothes? The mystery forest lies beyond the gate. It is said to contain the legendary Lion Village. I am Hurl the Stone. My motives are unknown. What? What? You're heading through the northern wastes? Don't you know it's full of moam beasts? Moam beasts? It's a mummy dance! Brrr. Keeping mummies is dangerous. They like to eat bones and flesh. Well, I'm made of bones and flesh, so please keep your mummy away from me. I am Burn the Blood. No one leaves without Rip the Blood's permission. I am Crack the Bone. Only Rip the Blood may leave here. Alright, I'm just looking for secrets. Calm down. Uh, okay, we talked to you already. I am Break the Bone. There is nothing to my nature but an endless hatred. Me too, pal. Me too. Is there a house inside this house? Help me. I don't know how to help you. Hey, we can take a rest. Hey, it's our mom, kind of. Shh, don't disturb the dead. Well, I, I just came to get some HP and MP. I am Desert Knight. I'm too rusted to move. There were rumors of a djinn somewhere in Malice. It will grant you your heart's desire. Well, we're in Malice. Let's open the mysterious letter. It says, Beware the power of the djinn. That's not very helpful. Doom. Is this Death Stranding? Greetings, I am Horus. The citizens of Malice must stay constantly alert to prevent the town being overrun by dread mummies. However, ever since Rip the Blood took over, security has lapsed. We are heading for a mummy cataclysm. I want to talk to everyone who's wandering around outside before we go in the houses. I am Lie the Smoke. A wizard lives here, but he's not very good. I hear Rip the Blood has tapped into the reservoir for his mining operations. Doesn't he know it's infested with dread mummies? I am Tell the Way. Continue north through the old mine and the castle of Rip the Blood. Well, we will certainly be going there, friends. Don't you worry your little hearts about it. That Rip the Blood has done a good job of keeping these undesirables off the street. This is because he enslaves them to work in his mines. Greetings, welcome. You should visit my brother's store here. It is full of worthless crap. Well, I'm gonna have to. Well, I said I wasn't gonna go inside. I wasn't gonna go in any of the places yet, just to keep track of who I've talked to. I am cut the eyes. Ouch! And I ain't saying nothing. Heh <laughs> heh. You've seen too much. Get it? That Rip the Blood is quite a fellow. I admire his moxie and sociopathy. This way to the st the steak farm. Isn't it just a farm if it there's cows? I work in a mine for old scraps and pence. My lugs are in constant pain. That's... That's very sad. I am Barry the Leg. Soon we shall rule the world. Everyone wants to. Mummies are very dangerous to touch. What, what, what? I'm not talking about mothers. Oh, come on. Oink, oink. Say you look like you're headed to rip the blood's fort. I know a secret that may help you along, but it won't be for free. 50 rubles is the price of a soul's okay sure yes you've made a wise decision oink oink listen to me the password for the bridge is right left right middle got it well i'm gonna write it down i'll tell you that i got it in just a second just grab my trusty pencil and paper here let or sorry 
right, left, right, middle. Okay. I just write, I just wrote R comma L comma R comma M. Who knows if I will ever remember what that even means. Right, left, right, middle. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> despair. Okay, we got doom and despair. Oh, wait, who is this? Who's this fool down here? Greetings, greetings. I am Hugh Leopard. Would you like to see a, a pyramid? Yes! What? Beware the mummy's touch. Well, pyramids are usually full of all sorts of treasure, right? But you're telling me to beware the mummy's touch. Can't we just fight them? No, okay, so they will instantly send us outside. It looks like a dance floor that they're walking on, doesn't it? Maybe I gotta lure him out. Or her, you don't gotta assume. Hey, found a muscle ring. That sounds good. And found a small nut. It's it's okay, I guess. Let's see if I can outmaneuver this guy. Yeah, I can, actually. Well, at least the mummies don't take you to the game over screen. Found 50 rubles. All right. All right, puppy. Or puppy. I called him a puppy instead of a mummy. Maybe because I'm always thinking about puppies, as is my want to do. I love this little pyramid level here. Found a diamond skull. Its cold gaze seems to penetrate your soul. Heh. <laughs> little do you know, I ain't got no soul. Ain't got no use for a soul. Not since... I don't really want to reveal to you guys when I lost my soul. That's going to be in my autobiography, which will be $49.99 hardcover. Three easy payments of $49.99 for the hardcover version. Oh my gosh. These dread mummies are a pain. Can I get in there from over there? I want to say yes, but that's just because I'm too lazy to try to get them to do something else. Oh. No, maybe I can. Found some armored pants. That sounds good for a, a man made of legs. A horse made of legs. Found a silver, a sliver sword. The power courses through your veins. But just a sliver of it. Wah, 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 wah. Found a bag of blood. What a wonderful thing to find inside a pyramid. Hey, can I drink the juice from the sarcophagus, please? They tell me it's raw sewage, but I just want to taste the juice. Yeah, let's go back to town. I think we got everything from the pyramid that we could get. So why don't we equip it? Oh, it says silver sword here. All right, so we'll equip silver sword. Not the poisonous helmet. The muscle ring. And... Okay, so we're, that's a downgrade. Armored pants not gonna give the I swear what if I accidentally equip that poison helmet on somebody I'm gonna save right now and I think that diamond skull can be sold for a pretty high price at shops so we're gonna try that in a sec but I want to see about this steak farm over here why don't they just call it a farm if it's oh my gosh it's actual steak do we get to play with it? Can I name it? Can I watch its every move? Oh, um, hello. There are some steaks out back. You can pick one out if you want. It's 50 rubles to enter the steak paddock. You can choose one steak. Sorry. Let's do it. Have a good time, I guess. Oh my gosh, I get to... This steak seems curious and friendly. He is quite lean. Let's listen to everyone's story, shall we? The steak is weak and sickly. It gives a chesty cough and lies down as you come near. No. This steak is elderly and lean. It trembles at your approach. Poor thing. The steak is shy but pleasant. You feel protective towards it. It is quite plump. That sounds like an option. The steak growls as you approach and appears surly and reclusive. It is very muscled and dense. Well, I guess we're going to go with this plump one. Congratulations! The steak slips snugly into your pocket. 
You already have a stake. Don't be greedy. Well, I guess it's true. We only get one. Um, have a good day, if you can. In the, in the world of Space Funeral, I don't know how many people have good days on a regular basis. Knock, knock. There's nobody home. What? It's us. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, mind equals exploded. Look at all those heads exploding over there. Knock, knock. There's nobody home. Okay, this is the place that's full of worthless crap. All of this worthless shit at low prices! How can you afford not to buy it? Or can you afford not to buy it? I am pleased with the selection of complete garbage on sale. Welcome to the crap store. We have many stupid things. Ooh, magic eye picture. I love those. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I don't have a lot of money for this stuff. But let's get something real good. A mysterious ring. Who knows where it's been? Yeah, well, I'll buy the weight lifter hat. Yeah. Goo day. Goo day. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, and I didn't try to sell the diamond skull. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Diamond skull. A mysterious diamond skull. Wow, 1,500 rubles. Heck yeah. What did that say? I'll see you again or something? Dot, dot, dots. Lots of dot, dot, dots. I'll see you again. <laughs> All right. I don't know how much time I want to spend doing inventory stuff in Space Funeral when I'd rather be just enjoying the experience. I am the wizard Yorm. Welcome to my grimy cave. City of Forms, rumors say it lies to the northeast, but I wouldn't know anything about that. Strokes beard discreetly. Is that a, a, a joke based on the Legend of Zelda, the cryptic nature of the people living underground? Come to me if you lose your form. So, are we going to lose our form or something? What's happening there? Knock, knock. There's nobody home. Hey, this is the... Uh, we haven't been here yet. Oh, duh, because I'm still going in all the houses. Okay. I am Pig A. I sell many restorative items. Yeah, you do. Look at all those bags and nuts and blood. I am Pig B. I have lots of equipment in stock. Whoa, Zorg Cannon, future death machine, plus 30 attack. Laser boots. Well, I hate to do it, but I'm going to make a leg horse OP. That was a lot of money spent on this leg horse. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. Oh, that's all? 104 to 116? Well, I guess 116 must be really good then. Because I believe that that is the most OP weapon in the game, along with the Zorg Cannon. I think. Maybe not. Wow, look at all these letters. Welcome to the Malice Post Office. We have many cryptic letters. It's a mysterious letter. Open it. It says, trust no one. That's pretty weird. It says, if you ever change your form, inquire for the wizard Yorn. Sounds like junk mail. It's a mysterious letter. It says, if at first stern, you gain the dog's res If at first stern, you gain the dog's respect. That's, I mean, good advice if you're, I guess that could be helpful if you have a, are training a puppy or something. Open a mysterious letter. It says, enter the void. Gosh, I love that movie. That's silly. Is that on Netflix still? A mysterious letter open it says I want to murder everybody what a bad letter I remember seeing enter the void on Netflix and being like is that a space funeral quote <laughs> I'm pretty sure this came before that this mysterious letter says don't trust the heads interesting what have we jo oh so these heads the doom and despair heads I don't know I think that's pretty accurate for what's happening here a little doom, a little despair, a little dread. 
Well, I think we've done everything that we can in the village. All right, now I had to record this after the fact as a result of this music is copyright protected. Um, it's wonderful music, by the way. It's My Marie by Vernon Geyer. Vern Geyer? Anyway, I'll put a link in the description. It's a great song, but I had to re-record this, this little section here. Sorry, friends. <laughs> the mine site has turned up a lot of stupid monsters. You'd better watch yourself. Watch yourself. And then I'm going to try to turn up the volume when I can, like now. Going up. Yeah! What? You want some of this? Is that the Pokemon theme song? That's totally the Pogies Pogi battle. Two criminals and a bomb dog attacked. Are they smoking crime? Let's find out what Mystery has to say about this. Criminal 1 stole 15 rubles from Philip. Philip is shocked. Criminal 2 puts the money in his pocket and looks defiant. Bomb dog barks. Bark. Well, that whole scene had no impact on the battle, did it? Except I guess they did steal money from me. But 15 rubles isn't much in this game where nothing really matters. And there's not too much to buy. Oh, I, I keep doing that, and I totally don't mean to. I know you can only mystery once, friends. <laughs> the smoking crime thing is excellent. The, the bomb dog, the fact that it's essentially, you know, this crudely donned drog with a bomb head... It's so freaking charming. This whole game is... It charms the pants off of me. Alright, and we're turning the volume down again. Alright. Thanks a lot, copyright strike. I'm mad as hell and not going to take it anymore! Seriously, no more copyright issues. The Death Fortress of Rift the Blood has many traps and monsters. There are rumors of a secret entrance. Secret entrance, you say? Well, I happen to be Kip Icon's secret hunter. Um, yeah, sure, let's fight this guy. Why not? Or girl, you don't gotta assume. Oh, and we get music again. Swarthy Skull, huh? Arr, looks like a pirate. Swarthy Skull became uncomfortable with his quasi-ironic stereotypes. Swarthy Skull hovered away. And Swarthy Skull was never heard from again. Were they? Alright, I had to turn that volume down again, Franz. There's something... Uh, yeah. Uh, these criminals don't understand the forces they're using. When they die, the lions will eat their bones. Um, th there's certainly something very punk rock about making a video game using other people's music. Just culling from different sources and not giving a heck, you know, uh, uh, if, it's, if it's copyright infringement or not. Um, I certainly appreciate it. But as someone who records videos for YouTube, it's like, ugh, it's kind of frustrating. My heart is stone. You are already dead. But then again, the video that I'm recording of this game for YouTube was not the intention of the person who made this game, eh? So you gotta ask yourself, what does any of this matter? Philip suddenly becomes muscled. Criminal lifts his sleeve to reveal an anchor tattoo. Bomb dog one barks, bark. Bomb dog two barks, bark. Once again. Maybe not too much of a of an impact on the battle, but Philip is muscled here. Take him on, muscles. Oh, you're not muscled anymore, eh? Well, what I did is I went back and I bought the laser boots. Or wait, no, did I find the laser boots in the pyramid? I think I did. But I bought the Zorg cannon for Philip, which is probably the reason he's doing so much damage right now. Way more than Philip, actually. Then again, I guess Philip is a higher level. I don't know. What is what is balance in a game like Space Funeral? All right, did we go over there yet? No. Dang it! I didn't want to have to fight you again, but I'll do it. I mean, essentially, I could probably just attack with Philip, and he's yep. Almost not even worth turning the volume up for, eh? All right, let's take a look at. Oh no 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 no! Don't play that song. Don't play the forbidden song. Don't play the forbidden song. Oh, good. We went. I was going to say, I guess we've already been in here, but we haven't. These underground rivers are the lifeblood of malice, but they attract many mummies. Wow. I'm so happy that I decided to head to your cave, Lucy Van Pelt. Although I'm going to say I don't remember that cave at all. So maybe I've never been in that cave. 
Dang, I must really dislike fighting those swarthy skulls more than I originally thought. There's something about the color palette of Malice that I really like. I don't know. For some reason, Malice is the is my least favorite part of Space Funeral. Uh, maybe it's just that it's bigger than uh, the rest of Space Funeral has been, and it's like, oh, there's so much to do. Uh, this reservoir is used to pump water directly to interrupt the blood's fort. Is that water, eh? That pink liquid? Beware, the touch of the mummy is death! And that's actually good advice, friends. The touch of the mummy is indeed death. This switch controls the mummy gates, which hold back the deadly horde of dread mummies. Well, then let me press, pull the switch. Why the heck not? Ugh. You've got to be kidding me! I didn't do that the last time! Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna have to meet you, friends, back in a second. Wow. Look at me making so much editing for myself. Ay ay ay. Aha! And as I'm walking through, I realized I didn't go in here yet, did I? We are digging up many errors like this one in the mine. I wonder what it means. It's one of the errors that we saw on the raft ride that was tragically cut too short. Because I didn't realize talking to Leghorse would... Alright, anyway, I'll meet you guys back. Alright, let's try this again. Ay ay ay. Well, how about for starters, I'm not going to pull the lever from the top side this time. There we go. Ugh, that was a close one. So yeah, the Dread Mummies are loose now, and <laughs> this is, I guess maybe this is what they mean when they talk about a secret entrance to the fort. As you step outside, you hear distant screams from Rip the Blood's fort as it is invaded by dangerous mummies, and everyone is dead all thanks to us. And it spits us out back there instead of up there, so you gotta walk all this way. <laughs> I've become impatient from having to re-record this part, but here we are in the fort of uh, Rip the Blood. I am Bite the Eye. Do not be alarmed. I am simply here to welcome you to the Death Fortress of Rip the Blood. <laughs> None can leave alive. Well, how about me? Can one leave alive? And can that be me? Oh, you know what I realized? I did not... I don't have that piece of paper that I used where I wrote the code down. Didn't we learn the code? It was like, maybe I can remember it. Yeah, let's hope I can just remember the code this time. Because I just realized I don't have that piece of, that sticky note anymore. Oh, come on. Come on, Scully Wellingtons. Give me access. It's all, oh. I almost wasn't paying attention at that point. <laughs> Gosh, focus. Why would I do this whenever I'm not in a focusing kind of mode, eh? These skulls actually only hurt you a little bit. It's it's really, I mean, I think you would have to intentionally try to kill yourself in order to die in this part. However, watch me do it. No, 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 I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to jinx it. They're just a minor nuisance, and you can kind of get stuck on them. This always puzzled me, this little ladder to nowhere there. Okay, can I remember it? Is it left? No. Is it right, left, right, middle? Yes, I remembered it! That See, see friends, that's the power of writing things down, man. You write something down, you remember it. I don't think that there's a direct correlation with, like, typing it in your phone. I think that um, really writing it down is where it's at. Ooh, this is certainly fancy. wonder what this fancy hallway could be leading us to. <gasps> I think we know who this is, friends. I am Rip the Blood. I am the king of all crime. My entire life has been spent searching for the mystical djinn. To this end, I created an enormous criminal empire to fund my quest. My death fort is at the, is the center of a mining operation designed to uncover the Jin's lamp. You will not stand in my way. I am impressed that you made it this far. Shall I tell you of the first man I ever killed? The night was clear and the moon was yellow and the leaves came tumbling down. And we finally have music again. King of all crime, eh? I want to say that when I used Mystery the first time I recorded this, it killed him in the first shot. Let's see. Philip inexplicably becomes muscled! 
Rip the Blood drags on his cigar. All right, well, that time, you know, it's good that we didn't just obliterate him for no good reason. Although this might do it. Yep, that did it. <laughs> you win! 365 experience, got 300 rubles, steel-toed boots found. We're way beyond that, friends. Philip level 12 obtained, Savage Blow was learned, Light Horse level 9 obtained, Grab was learned. Uh, and we're not going to listen to that song. Although, you should listen to that song on your own time. It's excellent. There's an old lamp on the ground. Rub it? Yeah, why not? Are you sure? It looks very old and grubby. It's probably worthless. Yes. You rub the lamp. Rub, rub. <laughs> Good grief, a mysterious figure appeared. Who would have thought? A thousand years! <laughs> I'm not going to give you my Robin Williams impersonation, because I'm still working on it. Greetings! I am the Jinn of the Lamp. I will grant you your fondest desire. F fondest desire? You mean you could remain still whilst I read thy brain? Processing. Humph, I see. I cannot return you to your true form, leg horse. That is your true form now. What? But... but... To regain your original shape, you must travel to the source of the corruption at the City of Forms. <sighs> Very well, Jin. Come, Philip. Our travels together have not yet ended, I see. Wait, wait, wait. If you didn't get a wish, then why not let Philip have one? Wait! The fat boy has yet to make his wish. Choose thy desire. Hmm. Every time I have ever played this game, I have wished for happiness. Uh, and... I don't think I'm going to break that streak today. I mean, look, Philip is sad. That's his, like, st his, like status uh, report says that he's sad, he's crying. We're going to wish for happiness. I am pleased with your request, and it has been granted. Received a copy of Crossing the Rivers of You, Actualizing Your Self-Potential in 30 Days or Less, by Paul Scud, Ph.D. Ha ha, I see what you did there, Jin. Gosh, there's always got to be a twist. You don't exactly get what you really ask for, eh? And now, time for your suitably ironic punishment! What? <laughs> what? You slowly flop your way back into malice. And I think here, I can transition back to my old recording. So, without further ado... Well, friends, I don't know how else to tell you this, but we're a fish now. <sighs> That's what happens, right? That's why you should never rub a lamp, question mark? I don't know. I feel like I would definitely rub a lamp to to get a, a wish or wishes from a genie. And I would just try to be very careful with the way I word it, although I'm sure everyone does, right? Anyway... Thanks for watching Kit Plays Space Funeral. In the next exciting episode, we're going to be a fish. Um, I have been, and I will continue to be Kip Icon as long as you guys continue to what? Follow your drams. Bye!